Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Studio Series Rise of the Beast Wheeljack figure. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, this is probably one of the most ridiculously and overly complicated transformation processes ever. So I hope this uh, helps you out and it's going to be a bit of a tutorial. Right, let's start off with then I'm going to move the arms up like so just to turn them like that. We need to make sure there's enough clearance here. You'll see why in a second. I'm then going to open up the braces from there because that's going to set the middle free and indeed now you can click the heel sprues into the back and just tuck this into the back. It doesn't matter if that comes forward because we're going to be using that in a second anyway. Same process this side, fold that over and indeed tuck that in. Right, now we're going to take the front of the vehicle, we're going to separate that from here and then lift this all the way up and it's going to start getting quite complicated very very soon so for now we're going to turn see this on the transformation of the ball and socket there bring this all the way up so it's hugging his head so go right on the outside like so bring it all the way up and hug his head we've separated that then what we're going to do is if we just bring the doors around a teeny bit just turn these a little straighter like so on their own hinges and then lift this forward like so so you can see that's going to be the front of the vehicle now we're going to turn this so the braces or whatever you want to call them at the front are that way and then we're going to rotate this upside down as well right this is where it gets daft so let's fold the doors back what we need to do is we need to get these arms underneath here without knocking anything off if things start to pop off i will of course reattach them but hopefully and typically in one of the other takes i did of this i got it round no problem whatsoever so what we're looking to do is start to turn it as you push down and clear this door so we're going we're going to push down quite a bit of force start to rotate there as well oh you're joking and that's just popped off bear with me a second so i'm just going to reattach it very simply over there just fold the arm out of the way and I'm going to carry on because obviously if this happens to yourself at least you know what to do hopefully I can get the other side without that happening to it but this is just going to fit over the top of there like so so that's out of the way so what we're looking to do we'll try it again bring this down bring it down start to rotate it inside this transformation joint as well it's a good job it's a ball and socket and push this down and push this down I'm going to open up that just in case as i say typically oh there we go that's it it's gone underneath that's what i wanted to do it last time it's gone underneath no problem whatsoever typically that time but again i've kept that in in case that happens to you guys you can see how easy it is to re uh, rectify open this up bring it over clip this into the front and then while these are down you can then straighten up everything move these flush down and then you can close let's make sure everything clicks into place close the doors as well that will help you out a lot right let's move the arms out of the way and like so now you can open these up at any point to be honest um i tend to do it now and the reason why i do it now is because it reminds me to make sure that everything is lined up on this side what we're going to do then we're going to turn this that way and the reason why we're going to do that is so we can get enough clearance now let's press this down to bring this door up missing everything here ever so slightly you can just push that back see the you can apply all this bit of pressure just to bring that over there and now what i'm going to try and do is rotate this bit up and around and over the fist like so which i've done that and now i'm going to straighten that up then we can rotate this around so the cream is lined up and you can see pretty much how we're ready to go in a second so on this side what we're looking to do is just bring this, I need to turn at the waist again, bring this over ever so slightly, try and watch all of these or just miss them shall we say, bring it over, that's there and now correct, oh that's going to be upside down, so that was on this side, so bring that back to this side and then bring this here, that's better, line this into there, right keep that bit open line this up there is a hole in there this is going to fit into there like so push that in and then straighten this up then you can clip this top bit in it's much easier if you actually or then rotate this around take all the panels off pop them all off then reattach them but obviously that's not proper transforming but you can do it that way so that's there now i'm bringing this back and over i'm going to line this up oh just missed it line oh you can't see 
I'm trying to bring that over and then line this up, applying pressure, trying to strain it all out. In fact, I'm going to come back to that in a second. Let's just make sure this is, I've just knocked that one out. Right, that's gone in this side, straightening up this. Uh, right, at least with the Origins wheel jacks panels, they all go together. That's better. Applied the pressure there, straightened. I've just missed it again, haven't I? So use this joint. There we go. And that's pretty much that there. Right, so underneath now, line these tabs up there. That's going to hold it into position. Line these tabs up there. Straighten that up. Bring this up and over. Push it down. And again, we can start to straighten and use this to help line everything up. So bring this over. Push it down. And straighten everything up. Once you've got it all sort of lined up now, you can start to push it all together. And with a bit of luck, it should hold. There right then, let's take him back. And again, if anything pops off, I will keep rolling just because it'll show you how easy it is to reattach. So let's separate these here. Wow, they're tight in. And then let's separate this whole back part. Take these, separate these from the roof. And I'd just say literally bring them forward, get them totally, totally out of the way for now. Fold them back like so, fold them all the way back get them out of the way. Let's straighten the leg out at the same time, straighten the leg out. So they're pretty much, as you can see, getting out of the way. Now I'm gonna open up this here and I'm gonna fold that right out. Same with this, fold that right out. Enough to turn these around to bring them right the way down and indeed uh, out of the way. He says, uh, again, I've got the one out of the way, but not the other. Right, let's rotate this around that way so we've got the waist pretty much how we want it to be might as well finish off the legs to be fair rotate this bit oops at the knee bring this forward i don't know if you saw that bring that back so what i did was I rotated this at the knee all the way around push that through and then the foot came through clip that at the back so that's the back of the legs pretty much done to be honest right here comes the fun part separate this lift it all the way back open the doors right out and then see if we can rotate this past here to bring it up got it got it got it got it rotate enough there to hug the head there we go and that's the best way when you when you're doing it the opposite way to transform it this is what i should have done but of course i knocked them off by accident that will come up there out of the way brilliant right now we're looking to spin this around, obviously, and then bring this part over, tab all this in, keep these back, fold that there. Let's move these doors totally out of the way, bring these right down on themselves, fold that under, and like so. I've made it much easier on the way back. <laughs> fold that down, rotate that around, bring that underneath, and there is, oh, knocked everything. That's how you take him back to Robot. Hope this helps anyway, guys. Take care.